Hello folks, uh, today uh, the question is uh, of 2015, May, June, paper 4-2 and the, uh, the chapter is uh, nuclear physics. The question number is 8. Uh, so I haven't been able to post videos for the last few days because of uh, several of my commitments. It's uh, uh, some of our festivals also, largest festivals. Uh, some uh, some due to uh, illness of uh, family members and so on so now it's okay and uh, it's uh, tomorrow that we have the exam so this will help you uh, help you all of us to make a last ditch effort for those better scores so the question says that uh, the power for a space probe is to be supplied by the energy released when plutonium 236 decays by the emission of alpha particles so it uh, derives energy from the decay of plutonium Alpha particles, each of energy 5.75 mega electron volt, are captured, and their energy is converted into electrical energy with an efficiency of 24%. So first, we have to do the energy in joules equal to 5.75 MeV. So we have to convert this energy to um, in terms of joules. So it is of uh, one alpha particle. So this is E due to one alpha particle equal to 5.75 MeV. And since 1 MeV is equal to 1 MeV is equal to is equal is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 13 joules, so this will be equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 13. So when I do it in the calculator, it will give us uh, 5.75 into 1.6 exponent minus 13 equal to. So it becomes 9.2 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 13 joules. So the answer will be. 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 13 joules now with this data we have to find the number of alpha particles per second required to generate 1.9 kilowatt of electrical power so the power is equal to work done by time work done by time the total work here so to have all that power. so this work will be equal to a uh, number of particles into work done by one particle by time so i can do it as a n by t into work done by one particle that's equal to energy of one particle but what we are given here is uh, the efficiency of the system is 24 percent so this p should be equal to this p should be equal to 0 0.24 of of the of the work done by this so w by t so that's equal to 0 0.24 into n by t into e naught so this formula is for 100 percent is but for 24 percent it should be like this so this gives us this gives us uh, n by t n by t equal to uh, power by 0 0.24 into e naught that's equal to power is uh, 1.9 kilowatts so it is 1900 watts by 0 0.24 into e0 is we are given as 9.2 into 10 to the power minus 13 sorry sorry this e naught goes to the denominator here denominator so it should be equal to like this so uh, minus this is uh, 13 so when i do it in the calculator so it's equal to uh, so it's equal to 1900 0, 0 divided bracket 0 0.24 into 9.9 .9 exponent minus 13 bracket close equal to this thing becomes equal to 8.60507 into 10 to the power 15 per second so this will be equal to 8.61 into 10 to the power 15 per second so i can read it as 8.61 into 10 to the power 15 per second so i'm uh, trying to express it in 2sf so that's why 3sf that's why this is the answer now each plutonium uh, 236 nucleus on this nucleus produces one alpha particle of course of course the plutonium 236 has a half-life of 280 years so the first question is uh, calculate the decay constant per second of plutonium 236 so we have to find lambda so lambda equal to 0 0.693 divided t 0 0.5 now this is equal to 0 0.693 now t 0 0.5 is 2.8 years when it change that into second it will be equal to this much number of days 365 this not much number of days into one day equal to 864000 seconds so the total of number of seconds should be somewhat like this so when you do the calculation it will be equal to uh, 7.848 into 10 to the power minus 9 per second 
So when I write it in 2SF, 3SF will be equal to uh, 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 9, 9 per second. So it is 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 per second. Now, next page. The next page it shows question number B2. Question number B2. It says that uh, user answers in A2 and uh, A2 means this. A2 means A2 means the so this thing, uh, this is A2, A2, and uh, B1. B1 is just what we did. So this is B1. So we have to use these two answers to find the, the mass of plutonium required for the generation of 1.9 kilowatt of electric power. Electric power. So first what we do is, uh, since we have got uh, uh, lambda equal to this much, uh, lambda is equal to this much, and uh, our activity is uh, this much, it is a number of alpha particles per uh, impeded per second. So this activity, this is the lambda. So we can find the number of the number of plutonium uh, atoms present first. Number of plutonium atoms present first, and we'll convert that number into mass. So that requires the formula A is equal to lambda n. So A is equal to activity, and that activity is equal to it becomes the activity <coughs> will be equal to given by this so this is the uh, activity so or it will have 8.61 into 10 to the power 15 is equal to uh, lambda is uh, this thing so this is 7.85 into 10 to the power something so it is a 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 into number here so therefore n is equal to this by this so when i do it in the calculator it will be equal to uh, 8.618 to the power 15, you know, exponent 15 divided, 7 by 85 exponent minus 9. So that becomes equal to equal to 1.096 into 10 to the power 24. So this is the number of uh, number of uh, uh, plutonium uh, atoms required for this this uh, uh, num this amount of power generation. So that means now what we have is. Since it is a 236, what we have what we have is Avogadro number or 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. This much atoms mean we have a 236 grams, one mole. So that means this much will be equal to 1.096 into 10 to the power 24 will be equal to 236 divided 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 into 1.096 into 10 to the power 24 so that will be equal to equal to 429 429.66 grams so when i do it in uh, 3 s it will be equal to 430 grams we don't need to take it to to kg because the answer is asked in grams now the minimum electrical power required for the space probe is this much 0.84 kilowatt Calculate in time, the time in years for which the number of the sample of plutonium-236 in B2 will provide sufficient power. So that means that we have to find the time required to, uh, time required such that the power of 1.9 kilowatt becomes 0 0.84. The power of this much becomes this much. So that means this is the initial power, this is the final power. So what I can do is, and this power depends on, power depends on the number of particles being emitted, activity, or we can say activity. So that's why I must have A equal to A naught E power minus lambda D, which means since we have, uh, since we have power uh, proportional to this A, we must have this P by P naught equal to A by A naught. So this gives us, this gives us, therefore, uh, P by P naught is equal to A is A naught E minus lambda T by A naught. So this is A, A equal to A naught E to power minus lambda T by A. So this cancels out. So this is a power is equal to power naught E minus lambda T. So when I do it in the, uh, put it in the values, it will give me the power required now is a 0 0.84 that's equal to 1.9 so since this is kilowatt and kilowatt uh, i have not changed that into watts because it's not necessary e to the power uh, minus uh, lambda is 
the lambda that we have calculated is uh, is this much so this is the lambda this is the value of lambda it is a minus 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 into this t so to have a uh, to do the calculation first we have to take it into log so this is uh, uh, 0 0.84 by 1.9 equal to e power minus 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 t if we take log it will be ln 0 0.84 by 1.9 equal to minus 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 t so therefore t is equal to ln 0 0.84 by 1.9 divided minus 7.85 into 10 to the power minus 9 so when I do it in the calculator it will be equal to uh, so ln bracket 0 0.85 divided 1 point back close equal to divided uh, 7.85 exponent minus 9 and then into minus 1 it will be equal to 1.04 into 10 to the power 8 seconds but since we need the answer in years I'll change this into 1.04 into 10 to the power 8 divided it's again the same thing here it is uh, uh, in uh, one day it will be 3864 seconds divided this into in one year there will be 365 days so it's equal 365 the same thing uh, the reverse thing that we did in the very first uh, first few problem first problem so that becomes equal to uh, 3.2978 years equal to 3.30 years so this is the answer this is the time required for uh, that thing to happen to so that the power becomes 0 0.84 kilowatt from 1.9 kilowatt